We love mastication on this channel. She didn't say what you think. <laughs> Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and juicing is stupid. And this video is my attempt to scientifically show you definitive proof of that. Let's define the parameters of stupid. If a diet choice that is supposed to be healthy actually causes inflammation, makes you more likely to store fat, gets you closer to diabetes, and screws up your metabolism, well, that is stupid. Now how am I going to scientifically test if juicing does in fact harm me? Levels. This is a CGM and it tells me my blood sugar in real time. If I eat a food that my body handles well and metabolizes well, I get a nice low and level graph which means steady energy and sustained awesomeness throughout the day. Now if I eat something and see my graph spike up really high, that means my body did not metabolize it well. And that spike is causing inflammation, getting me closer to diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and a bunch of other health conditions that are bad, spikes are bad. So it's time to show you on a graph what a healthy juice does to my blood sugar. I feel like you already know my hypothesis, but let's just let the science speak for itself. Hello, can I borrow your metabolism, please? I need another guinea pig. Is it for science? <laughs> yes. There we go. Nature and well in one word. Also, it's organic. Is this your juice dance? It juice. What? Oh, there we go. Fresh ground ingredients. Look, antivirus, immunity. Immunity boost? Oh, look, okay. here, here, here. Is there one that Jesus. just says, like, metabolism shredder? Or should we do prepackaged so everyone playing along at home can try? What do you recommend that's like Healthy heart would be great. Oh, these are the sizes. What do you get? Ugh, very little. Get the small one. I don't think we need to go extreme on this to show results. We're gonna do a shot and a juice. She's getting healthy heart. I'm gonna get Nutritonic. I'm looking for something with celery. Look at all that healthy stuff going in there. Can't wait to see what this does to my body. I wanna get that for food. How efficient would that be? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you spend your day going, man, if I only didn't have to chew, I'd get so much more done? No. Actually, I, I'm a proponent of chew your food. Yeah, we love mastication on this channel. People are gonna mishear that. <laughs> she didn't say what you think. We'll put a little graphic defining mastication. Stop saying that. <laughs> there we go. That looks like something. Thank you. And can we get two shots too? Yeah, which one? The wheatgrass and the face melter. One ounce or two? Two ounces, come on. Two ounces. We got a big budget for this video. <laughs> oh yeah, appetizing. But seriously, look how many juicing yep. options there are. Yep. The industry is pushing this. Yeah, I mean look, community, wellness, electrolyte. We should test more than one, I just really don't want to. All right, let's guinea pig this. Sacrificing my body for you. Okay, ready to take on this fad diet with me? This looks freaking weird. Well yeah, obviously it looks gross because it's good for us. Wow, that is sweet. Okay, it's not as bad as I expected, except I gotta do the whole thing. Ugh. Okay. If you're gonna eat fruits and vegetables, chew them. Like, this, yeah. comparable to soda. I know. How? How are they similar? And I hate you go to a juice bar and they say, oh, it's whole, unprocessed food. What do you think blending is? That's processing. <laughs> right. I mean, you're taking all the fiber out of this, mm -hmm. so. You're getting sugar and liquid calories. <laughs> we have to finish it, stop. Make sure you mark it in levels the moment I drink a juice for my pallies. Do you know people who drink juice because it's, it's... Yeah, it's a healthy thing. Look at all how many apples I can get in one sitting. Like, that's something you want to do. People who actually juice, right? Like, mm -hmm. to lose weight. I want to talk to them and be like, well, what happened after? Also, losing weight doesn't mean you lost fat, people, mm -hmm. okay? The scale can go down and you can be just as fat. Case in point, when I drank Soylent for 10 days, I lost weight, but also gained body fat and lost muscle mass. Good lord, you're not even getting through it. Well, I don't chug soda, so why would I chug this? Yeah, that's true. It just feels like I'm drinking a Coke, a full calorie Coke. Also, this was super expensive. Oh yeah. <laughs> I could have gotten an entire tree of apples. <laughs> we, no, we could have bought the whole produce section mm -hmm. at the grocery store for the amount we paid for this crap. You wanna do the shots? This is just a bonus. I imagine these would spike us less, but we're having them together, so it doesn't matter. Why are you swishing? Because I enjoy pain. <laughs> Masochism. Oh, that is rough. Yeah, it is. I mm. lost my nose hairs. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh my god, wheatgrass is so bad. Is it spicy? Oh no, it's fine. It tastes, that one's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. It tastes like not food. 
It tastes like this was not made for human consumption. Why would you spend money oh on this? Oh my god, goosebumps. That's but so this funny. Hap we, everyone knows this happens every time I drink something <laughs> unpleasant. Oh, what a mm. way to start the new year. I hate everything. Also, I'm still hungry. Oh, that's another thing. This is gonna make me starving. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, it's like an extreme appetizer. When we just took in, I don't know, 500 calories? Of nothing. Yeah. We didn't even talk about that. I can't believe how many calories that I just drank. Oh. My. Uh, that sucked. Okay, I'll we'll check back in a couple hours and show you exactly what our metabolism did. I hate this. I'm quitting this channel. I can't. Uh, I'm checking in a little early because I'm sitting here working and feeling yeah. There's this thing called interoception where you can sense what's going on in your body, like your heart rate or perhaps your blood sugar. I've been wearing levels long enough that I feel like I've developed that and I know when my levels are sky high. Let me just take a look. Oh dear. And now for the definitive results. Is juicing stupid? You first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a I, four out of 10, I, 10 being the best. Yeah, and I never spike. Yeah, never. So, I don't think you've ever been that high before. Yeah, never. But it's so good for your heart. Uh, no. <laughs> before we get to mine, uh, I just want to talk about the fact that we're proving that fad diets are stupid and unsustainable. So what do we tell them though? We don't want to leave them hanging like, this is a bad idea. What's a good idea? Come work with me. There we go. <laughs> um, no, just because you read something somewhere that markets to you that something is healthy, don't just automatically buy in without doing your own research. If you do want some help with that in the new year, she just so happens to be launching a group challenge in 2022. Yeah, come join me. It's gonna be a 21 day challenge to kick off the new year right and you'll be able to work with me, giving you guidance, uh, an actual nutrition coach. Yeah, not just the word healthy written <laughs> on a bottle. I do wanna say that spots are limited. I'm putting a link in the description, so get there now before everyone else. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, on to my results. This is embarrassing, a one. That spike looks like I'm diabetic. It's crazy. You're my health drink. People do this on the daily. Right, over and over, for years. It's so bad for you. Yeah. It's so infuriating to do something that's supposed to be healthy and it's the exact opposite. Yeah. Oh. But this does highlight the fact that everyone is different. We both had different size spikes. There is potential that you might not even spike on the same juice. Although I think it is a good sign that there are a lot of juices out there that are labeled as healthy and you should maybe question it. And there are things you can do to bring a spike down if you have a really carby meal. Well, you can see an example of that when we ate a bunch of dessert and then brought our spike down with a secret trick. I'll put that down there for you. Hey best pally, I'm Allie, and today I'll be testing out this hack to see if I can make my body good at eating carbs. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I consider myself good at eating carbs if my metabolism was so awesome that I could have them without getting a bunch of extra inflammation or storing them as fat or having a bunch of other health problems. So basically, I want to metabolize them as efficiently as possible.